Looking yeah. dapper. That is good. We've finished with our cooking. We can't make any more, so there's no point in having a bit. And I don't think you can help with anything right now. I mean, I could have you helping with this, but really, I'm just putting you there to, to have you there doing something. I suppose that's not terrible. We'll gather quite a lot of meat. Uh, sorry, um, oh, uh, leather while we're here. There we go. Right, let's have a look at our best gatherer. That would be uh, Gnome Child. There we are. That's better than your current gathering item. And it's going to increase your gathering loads. Right, you've currently got 12.8 gathering. Uh, does the group, is the, the entire group, does it show me what the entire group can carry? Well, 3.37. And. Dunk. You're now at 13. So from 12.8 to 13.4. I was expecting it to be a little bit higher, honestly, but okay. Um, mostly because of the, the multiplier that it was meant to be there. If I take that away. Thirteen point eight I was expecting, but okay. Maybe it doesn't work quite the way I was expecting it to. Bonuses plus losses, multiplier, fair morale. Oh Destiny is multiplying it by zero point three. Unless that's just adding to it. Oh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I could totally get, give Zangiri this. And I think I will. Zangiri, you can now gather even better than you could before. How marvellous, eh? Marvellous, I tell you. Uh, I could give this to Tampok. I mean, it would allow you to target properly, but uh, it's not really that useful. Oh, my lord. Let's increase rituals. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was so confused. Oh, I, I just assumed the gathering tool would just work with gathering, but no. It actually improved my gathering and massively improved our, our rituals as well. So, I mean, you know, that's, that's not so bad. Ah. Uh... <laughs> I am a derp. The derp at you, but dude is so great. But that's fine, because ultimately I am still um, gathering as well as I could. But, <laughs> damn it. Damn me. Why am I so dumb? Alright, we'll pass one more turn. Ooh. Darkness. Characters lose between one and five faith each turn when outside the village. Characters with low faith may receive a spiritual curse. Darkness lasts two turns. Okay, well, we've just got a, an extra research point. Still haven't found anywhere we particularly want to settle down, though, yet. Um, we're going to be on the move now, though. So let's break camp. I know, it's a little bit worrisome, but... And I'm going to have to walk quite close to the... Uh, side. Oh! Oh! Well, hello. How how's it going? The traumatic events of the last few days made it clear your child is no more. Uh, child is a child no more. They now face the time of the croppings, the rite of passage into adulthood. Strength or chance, your child is strong. They will follow the path of the warrior. A good craft, a gatherer of wisdom. Your child is a learned. Perhaps they can become a healer. Wisdom and chance. The child is wise beyond its years. They could train to become the spiritual leader of your flock. A zerker. Um. So we would have a chance here. Uh, I mean. Chance it! The path of the Zerker is a spiritual one. There are few phys physical dangers, yet the chance of success is slim without proper training. Begin the trials! Your child is a youth no more. Today they join your proud calling of the Zerker. 
Well done, Temp Hawk. You are a Zerker. And rejoice. Ah, oh, that worked out. I was not expecting it to, I'll be honest. Uh, okay, so Temp Hawk, tell us a bit about yourself. Okay. You do nine damage with this now. That's good. You've also got a ball. Uh, what are your skills? Reliable arguments. Your words are wise and based on sound logic. Oh my lord. You will dominate in any kind of uh, intelligence-based uh, fight. And brute force. Uh, you know, that is what it is. Uh, okay. Weapon attack. You've got... You, you're not good in physical, but you've got a ball for that. Alright. That is not bad. That is not bad. I like it. I like it a lot. And hopefully you'll be able to help us out in other ways as well. Let's get down there and attack. Resist their entrancing charms and try to intimidate them instead. Uh, be it a uh, monologue of great importance, a beautiful song, or a seductive lyric, a s someone is trying to entrance you with their silver tongues. Resist their entrancing charms. Thank goodness. Okay. Uh, begin. Let us see how this one goes down. Okay. You can play, sure. Um... I could summon that in, or I could go for poison. Let's go for poison from the rear lines. That's fine. Okay, let's have a look at you. You're a light bringer. Oh, thank you very much, Jezza. 43 months in a row. Thank you so much for the continued support. You've really no idea how, how much I appreciate it. Looking for a new place to live and all. Um, a reliable argument, okay. So you do 21 damage, oh my god. Uh, energy disturb, 18 damage, but you can pretty much hit anyway. And you can slow things down. Okay. Yikes. You got 74. This is going to be painful. That's an incredible amount of, of damage they can deal. Biggest problem is I've got to have you at the front lines to do your reliable argument. And you're not going to act first. Let's get you in now. Um. Let's just get you in there so you soak up some damage. You're only going to soak up two hits. You'll go down with time, but it's going to take a while. I kind of need both of you in here to do this. No, don't, don't play. Um... You do 12 damage, that's not, that's not bad. But I feel that I need something to soak up the damage that's going to come in from you. Let's get you in there. We really need to just alpha them down if we can. Right, they're saving up to place another one of those. Ugh, that's awful news. Absolutely awful news. Um, get you in there so you can soak up a little bit more damage as well. Oh. Boop. That is actually not what I meant to do. I thought that was only costing one. Ugh. Should have placed two of you down instead, or another one of you. Okay, well, you can absorb some damage, but you're going to go down fast. That was a bad mistake. That will hurt. Alright, let's watch. Yeah, another one down. Really nasty. Let's 
Okay, ball is down. Uh, how much damage are we going to do? We're going to do seven damage. I can... Sure, take this one out, I guess, so that it... Oh, no, I can't. I can't target it. It has to be down here. Okay, well, that is what it is. It's going to probably be one of the first battles we lose. At least that one's out, but that was a lot of damage to waste in that way. Thankfully, our main damage dealer looks like they're going to escape this... Uh, well, actually, no. They're not going to get out of this unscape. They're going to take a good amount of damage. Alright, you're down to 50 health, but you're the only one that you can play now. You would die in a single hit. I need to get you in play. And then you... But, uh, I can't even place you behind. I need to place you at the front. We'll see how this goes. I need to protect you. If you aren't protected, we lose. Pretty much. Um, I should have played you first, actually. Alright, we've got a couple of people who can soak some damage. doesn't really matter where I place you. Um, but you will act first, so that's not a bad move to make. Right now, it's all about trying to keep damage off you. Uh, it's saving up to place another one. Uh, which is very, very troubling. Um... Pumping their damage up. Now, if I save this last point, which I'm going to do, I can either decide to place two of them down or place them again, depending on how the positioning works. Okay, that's awful. You're going to do a wallop load of damage and you're going to take them out straight away. But you will act last. So that is a small chance. You can move at 13.7. Can I move first? No. No, I cannot. Uh, unless we've got someone who can speed things up a bit. But that would take two. So I can't play that one. I can delay them, but it won't do enough. Though you can do a decent chunk of damage. It doesn't really matter where you attack from, as long as you attack. And uh, Sure, I'll play you in, just so that you buff the damage a little bit more. I mean, Zangiri is now going to hit for 15, and add 3 seconds to their counter. Which is actually fairly good, but you're not going to attack until after the second one is played. Which is a shame, but you're going to attack this one, which will slow it down a bit. Should have borne that in mind, actually. That counter-attack is beautiful. That 14 there, absolutely wonderful. All right, this is me. I'm going out with sanity damage. Zangiri is going to do enormous. It's going to absolutely wreck face. And then that's it. Okay, we won, but the skin of our teeth, but some of us took a huge wallop of sanity damage out to that. Look, gnome child. Minus 10. Okay, we gained 1.6 experience, but at what terrible, terrible cost. That was actually horrible. Low sanity. One or more of the characters is below 30% sanity and their morale is decreased. Their damage is lowered and there is a chance they will leave your group. Improve their morale by providing varied food. Click to open the affected group's inventory. Uh, yes. Eat all of the things. Uh, we have no other things to give. Uh, such shame. Much sad. Okay, well, camp the best you can. That's all I can do. Um, can I cook anything? I've got nothing to cook. I've not got any items that I can use to make into beautiful, beautiful, delicious food things. 
super bad times. Stupendously bad in that. Uh, Alright, I'll just... Oh, actually, I could bring just a uh, leather shield just for the sake of it. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not training skills by doing that, so there doesn't seem to be much point in it. However, I could just make an amber crafting tool. It barely does much, but... Wouldn't be terrible. I increase sanity regeneration, then. Oh. Wait, so the Malachite one... Oh, increase sanity regeneration, okay. Oh, I made gathering tools, that's why. Okay. No, oh, that's fine. We're not going to be able to get that, but... Hmm. Sure, why not? Why not? Let's get everyone working on this one if we can. I've got a horrible feeling that we're about to lose some people. We might lose the Chosen, of all people. Cross your fingers, everyone. Keep them crossed. Damn the gods and their divine games. The strain of this dark world is too much, and so you have abandoned your duties in search of a more peaceful life. I have abandoned my duty. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> goodbye, Alice. My best crafter has just left. Oh, that sucks so bad. So incredibly bad. Ouch. But for a, a level 2 battle, that was so, so incredibly nasty. So incredibly nasty. On the plus side, you didn't take your stuff with you. Which uh, actually is quite nice of you, I'll be honest. Well done, you. You could have just scarped with all of our gear, but you didn't. What, what, a, what a, a fair individual. I approve. Still, that was a bitter, bitter loss. We were just getting to a place where we had a really good crafter. It's still not bad, but it's a lot worse now than it used to be. Um, well, maybe that will help, though. Uh, let's have a look. Is this a better weapon? It is a much better weapon for you, so you can have that one. All right, let's break camp. Let's move up. Try and get back uh, somewhere where we can do some gathering. Uh, oh. Oh, what a dip. I completely uh, stopped trying to make that, but... Honestly, I don't, I don't mind too much. Uh, let's get that going again. There we go. But now at least we can gather. There we go. Fingers crossed, everyone. Fingers and toes. Other parts. Uh, pack of beasts. We'll auto resolve that one. We should be able to get out of there without any issue at all. There we are. And we've got a young boar. Ah, oh, no. And we've lost Gnome Child, our best gatherer. Oh, that is so hard. That is such a bitter pill to swallow. But that's the way it's going to be sometimes. And we got some level up, though. Uh, battle orders, so I could increase our protection to four. Um, yeah, because we can apply that to three people. And a watcher. I mean, let's go for intelligence there. That was that was so bitter. But the, these sorts of things you can recover from them. Certainly isn't the game over. But we'll have a bunch of nice gear to hand out now. Wow. Alright. Uh, well, who's our best gatherer? You've got 7.6. 9.2. Okay, it's going to you. There we are. Uh, increased carry capacity. Does anyone need it? Um, uh, I'll give it to you. Uh, leather robes, increased shielding wouldn't be bad. Uh, you can have that one. The hatchet, though. No, not the jacket rush. Uh, what about you? Ah, uh, yeah, you can have this then. I can also get your shield later on as well. That wouldn't be too bad. 
Okay. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. There was one more gathering item I could hand out. So, well, I mean as well. Sure. I'll give it to my, my character. We're going to pass another turn and see if we lose anyone else. Fight. Auto resolve. Sure, I'll accept the outcome. Fingers crossed. Maybe we're through the, the, the worst of it. I think we might be through the worst of it. Ah. Uh, Alright. We might be out of the really bad times. You've got no bonuses because your morale is so low, but everyone else is slowly recovering. It's taken a while, but I think we might be out of the worst of it. Uh, I mean, uh, still quite low. But I think we lost everyone else who was in danger of being lost. Uh, we've got a bunch of research points we can do there, but let's not. Oh, I've got a level up. Uh, parry. More shielding for myself, or counterattack. I would really like this. Goes from 2.5 to 3 across the board. Yes, I think. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's have a look at our gathering. How close are we? We'll spend one more turn. We'll finish off that gather. Uh, a building seems to have appeared close to your location. Interesting. Perhaps it's worth looking into. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, that was actually very close to my location. My goodness. Right, well, we've made a new crafting item. It only increases it by 1.8. However... Ten pork. Better than what you've got, so you may as well have that. Alright. We've lost a bunch of people here, but... Oh, that was nasty, too. We'll be able to recover, though. It's a great camp. I would like to check what our inventory is like, though. In terms of food. So to buy fuel... Cooked foods. We've got 247 sandwiches. 44 days of food and 78 days of fuel. I think we're good. We should be alright. Okay. Well, uh, let's make our way over here then. Oh my lord. Level 3 battles. You come across an impressive stone-built smithy standing proudly in the middle of nowhere. You swear you passed by here before and did not spot it. Outside stands a young shaven dwarf. Inside you see the outline of an older, bulkier fellow hammering away at an anvil. You also spot a large pile of rocks by the entrance. Really? Say, you do not wish to talk or help him. Leave. Except the job of finding his two granddaughters. Is did did the dwarf that, that had the, the fling with the Rasalka? I'm I'm tempted to find out. Oh, visitors, splendid. I'm Bodan. Yes, it is Bodan. Master Smith. Say, you haven't seen a couple of wee girls hiding somewhere, or maybe doing some mischief? No, can't say that I have. Ah, <sighs> well. How would you feel about getting hired to find them, eh? Uh, why? Well, you see, my daughter, she asked me to babysit, and, well, I'm not as young as I look. I had me a wee nap. I wake up and poof, the little rascals are gone. And Shale, here, was no help either. He gives a dirty look towards the pile of rocks. Shale? Shh, not too loud. She's old and cranky. She's a rock troll, my best friend for a good few centuries now. But useless at babysitting, it seems. Yeah, this is Bodan. I love that, that this story continued. Look at that. Half shaven off. Uh, so you're looking for dwarven girls? Uh, not strictly. No. Uh, they're more Rasalkas. Although, I always say Anya has my chin. She does. And Eva has that strong arm and Smith should ha uh, the, uh, Smith should have. In any case, they'd be two human looking lasses. But I bet you they were, went to the caves. The Misty Swamp or the Blighted Lake over there. Um, so you had children with a Rasalka? It isn't what you'd call conventional, sure, but you know how rare dwarf wives are. Well, no, you don't. Not till you lived as long as me. In any case, yes, I married me Mariana. Well, I mean, she was tricked into it and bound by demon law at first, but then we made it work. She's passed now, but our daughter is my greatest treasure. And her we once too. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, aren't you going to look? He shows you his legs, and they are partly turned to stone. 
Like I said, I'm not as sprightly as I look. Me and my wifey, we met back in the awakening days. Long, long ago. Now I'm slowly turning back to the stone I was carved from. Nature. But I really need my grandbaby safe. I'll reward you well. <laughs> yeah, I'll go look for him. He shows you his... Uh, sorry, uh, no, two research, two experience. Okay. Well, it's kind of sweet. Okay, back the way I came though, really? But I've got other places I need to explore so bad. Also, I need to run away from these things because they will eat my face, especially now I've lost people. Uh, hi, Kaiser. As a heads up, Avic, this is really hard. Oh. Maybe I'll give it a pass then for now. Maybe I'll just swing, swing on past. I really don't want to have to fight those things. I really don't want to have to fight them. I've got a funny feeling that they will just waffle stop me. Unless, of course, I can outmaneuver them. If I get the drop. As you recover from <coughs> yet another nasty tremor and look around in the debris for useful resources, you spot an odd looking man sitting behind a table, surrounded by all sorts of strange contraptions, scrolls, files, and tools. Oh, thank you very much, Spring Critter. Ten months in a row. Good morning to you. Uh, okay, go speak to him. You approach the man, and he looks up at you, puzzled. Then looks around for a bit, and mumbles, Damn mercs, one tremor and they've run off. What? I mean, how can I help you? <laughs> okay. Uh, what are you doing here in the aftermath of a tremor, with all this equipment? I know, I'm going to inquire. Let's be polite. Who are you? I'm the alchemist, or so they call me. In truth, alchemy is but one of my many talents. A renaissance scholar, that's what I am. Uh, <laughs> that's the shortest possible account of what's happening here. What's the renaissance? Oh, uh, never mind. It's a thing from my dreams. I am a learned man. In the days before the dark, we were aplenty. But these days, we are few. For our part in the whole darkness disaster, it has become somewhat of an unpopular career choice. Oh, thank you very much, Consulus. Five months in a row. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. Uh, what are you doing here in the aftermath of the tremor? Oh, well, uh, I'm measuring the tremors. The strength, how long they last, the frequency with which they occur. Trying to pinpoint the epicenter, you see. Why? Like finding patient zero, I suppose. That is, a, a person who fell ill first, or in this case, a place perhaps. That is the thing that began the disaster. Be a disease, curse, act of the gods. They all tend to have a beginning. Like the burning of the cosmic tree that brought about the darkness centuries ago, yes? Um... What about the darkness and the burning of this tree? Ah, oh, well, the oh, most no. reputable history of my profession. Along with the short of it is that scholars meddled with the ways of the gods, thought to rid us all of magic, bring about an age of reason. Only they didn't account for the gods having an actual world-saving job. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna keep listening. The cosmic oh, tree, goodness. you see, is the core that makes our Slavian gods divine. Its roots hold the key to the underworlds. The trunk gives connection to the mortal realms. And the crown, well, that keeps the darkness in check. The tree burnt. The age of darkness consumed us until the awakening. The awakening? Brave champions of the gods restored the tree and thus gave divine power back to the pantheon. Or at least that's the official line. There were rumors of other paths, tales of the tree being reborn despite those faithful failing the task, attempts to keep the dark going, all sorts. And there is talk of gods fighting, disappearing. I do not know more. It is not my area of expertise. <laughs> okay, it's actually cool listening to this. Uh, investigating the trams, is this to do with the tree again? So if the tree is safe now, why are we having problems? Darkness isn't gone, it still lurks in places. And now the noon light burns so bright and the shakes destroy so much. Ah, the right question, precisely. Why indeed? The tree is saved, but it is clearly weakened again, perhaps threatened by the shattering. Gods that once were have disappeared, and others have come to be, and all are trying to learn why this is happening. I suspected giants, of course, but I don't know. Giants? The giants, ah, yes. There is speculation that the two are related, but in what way, I do not know. Giants did return, but they were put back to sleep, else we'd see them roaming our land still. It's not like they were stealthy about it. So some other connection must be hidden from us. Well, why then are you investigating the tremors? Is it to do with the tree again? 
No, not the ah, wrecking, I would imagine. But something shattered the Earth. And while we survived, the shaking is getting more frequent. I fear we may yet face extinction if we do nothing. Lavos. Uh, inquire if he plans to stop it himself. Me? Oh, gods, no. You will, or won't. That will be your choice once more, I suppose, as the wheel must turn. I'm merely taking measurements, looking for clues, and happy to share them. Why does he say that about me? I am a learned man. I just know these things. Demand a true answer, not an ask if he has any... I'm fine. Any real clues, then? I am close, but I need to take measurements from within a cave, and it seems occupied by bandits. A large cohort, uninterested in the fate of the world, you see. Hmm. Do you know how to get in? Well, the way I see it, there are a few ways to deal with it. One, try to parley with a lot. An awful idea if you ask me, but who knows? Second's obvious, but not my cup of tea. Brute force. And then there's always other ways. Like I heard the scavengers who live nearby hate the bandits. The feud amongst rabble, hey? Perhaps use that. So you need to get rid of the bandits from the cave, or convince them to let you... Uh, oh, sorry, we need to get rid of the bandits and convince them to let them set up. Yes, your grasp of the finer details is impressive. I should also say I tried asking them. Got myself robbed, beaten, and barely escaped with my life. Just so you know the sort you're dealing with, if you choose to help, that is. I'll look into it. No, no, actually, I'll straight up agree to help. Okay. Oh, wow. Bunch of people just leveled up. Excellent. Let's have a look. Okay. Uh, Takarosh. We could continue focusing on your destiny. That is really bumping up now. Or I could get a little bit more luck. Uh, no, we'll go with destiny for you. Um, I kind of like more intelligence for you. Now, Zangiri, uh, I think I need to increase your wits. You're a fast actor, but I need you to be faster. Let's get that going. Um, Temp Hawk. Well. Mm. Yeah, let's go for intelligence. Straight up buffy rint. All right. Not too bad at all, I must say. Let's break camp and move on out. Like, where are we going next? So many spots around. Looks like we might need to head over there, though. I'm going to try and give them a wide berth. Like, a really, really bloody wide berth. Ooh. You see a giant spider sitting atop a child. It looks as if the child is struggling. Uh, run to kill the spider. You draw your weapons and prepare to fight, but the boy shouts from under the spider, No, no, don't kill my mum. We're only playing. Uh, uh. Uh, the spider turns to face you and stands protectively between you and the boy. Um. Ask why he calls the spider mother. Because she is. She found me and raised me. It's a stupid question, really. Yeah, that's actually fair. Um, are you okay out here? Yeah, we're okay. Only, you see, my mum is ill, and we're trying to retrieve a magical herb for her from that cave there. But there's some kind of forcing, force guarding it, and many brothers and sisters died already trying to get in. Ah, I'll see what I can do. You try to enter the cave, and indeed, some force keeps you at bay. Oh, that's going to be rough. There's no way I can do that at level four. Ugh. There is no way this is going to happen, so I'm just going to auto-resolve. Oh, victory with serious entries. You have one, but if you fought against another group, at least one of your characters has lost half or more of their hit points. I'll accept the outcome. You push through whatever barrier stood here and find some herbs inside. They do not look magical to you, but the spider seems very happy to get them. She bows before you and speaks for the first time. Her voice, crooked but clear. You did me a service, humanoid. Some of my children will now serve you. Uh, thank you. Ah, uh, Got a spitting spider. How marvellous. Our faction loyalty is increased with the stingers. What? Okay. We have gained faction loyalty with the Spooder clan. I approve. Uh, okay. Your very own creepy crawly friend. 
Wow, it's a high quality as well. Uh, oof, that is really high. Uh, okay. I can only sell, uh, assume this summon pet is going to be a strong pet. I like it. I like it a lot. But who is going to... Uh, what? Hi, Kaiser. You get spooked, friend. Donk. Mm, actually, do I ever do any rituals? You do 2.3... Uh, actually, you've got a higher rituals that you should have. Yeah, 4.5 instead of 4. So I'll give the Spooder to my character. There we go. That way we'll build... Well, actually, let me have a look around, because we may have someone with much higher rituals naturally. Yeah, we do. Let me move people around a second. Donk. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, you get the ball. Well, 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 wait, 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 wait. No. The reason why we won't have the ball with you, we'll have the bird, because the bird is a passive. It doesn't have a summon, and you're one of the strongest fighters we have. If you're in play, I'm going to want you to use your weapon rather than summon something. So that makes sense. And that same problem with my warrior as well. Mm. Problem is, who... This is the problem. Honestly, at this point, we've got too many people and not, no one to take the, the... who we wouldn't want to play. So, it's a bit of a hit and miss on that one, I'm afraid. We're just going to have to see what we can do. Uh, got plenty of humans over here. Slavians there. I want to get down there if we can. We've also got this little area we want to go and check out. So many places, so little time. You come to a mound that looks like a red blemish, unnaturally formed from a strange reddish clay. There is a tear in the middle, and beyond it, you know, lies the Red Ridger camp. Going closer. Just like the alchemist said, the camp is well situated to repel any attacks, with plenty of natural cover and good line of sight. You are not able to spot much from a safe distance, but you see regular patrols of fairly well-armed folk. Mm, I would like the leave option here, honestly. But I guess I don't have that. As you walk towards the camp, you sense that you are being watched. A small group of ruffians meets you at the edge of the camp. One of them, a burly-looking human, speaks. It isn't often that folk hand themselves to us, so I'll assume you have business here. Well, this is unfortunate. This is quite unfortunate. I mean, we have this option because of our strength. I'll try it. I'm assuming that that bracket is letting me know that it's... Oh, well, actually, no, no, that's telling me I could go for that option. Mm, this is rough. Because I really don't want to be here. Um, no, we'll go with this one and see how it goes. Suppose you look impressive, like, yeah, so we can talk. Okay. But you with that oddball bookworm type. We told him, and we'll tell you. That cave is our turf. No stragglers, no sightseeing. Well. I wish I could go back and observe. I don't think we can. I don't, I'm not sure what that one does. Oh, it replays it. We'll try and haggle with them. That cave is our turf. No there is... No I don't think there's much point in us fighting this battle, but we'll see. Begin. It's a high... <gasps> yeah, I'm just going to forfeit. Now, this is the only... As far as I see it, if we auto-resolved, we would lose. If we fight, we're going to lose, based on that alone. We'll see if we can forfeit and just flee. 
There might be some bad con- Yeah, we'll confirm. Ah, you bore me to death with your word vomit. Just shut your gob. Or kick your butts and be done with it. But we do have us two problems we'd like dealt with. And I ain't gonna cry if you die trying to do them for us. Oh. I lost some sanity. Please don't also- Oh, God. This is so bad. If- <laughs> If my character leaves because it does wants to go have a peaceful life, I lose the game. Okay, keep listening. There's an old gold mine swarming with some demon kind. We don't like meddling with their sort. Gas the mine and we'll talk about the cave. Oh, there's another constant sore up our butts you can help with. Okay, keep listening. Go and slaughter those filthy scavengers down by the lake. Yeah, that'll be a treat. Then we'll let you snoop in the cave all you like. I'll mark both on your maps, and you decide which favour you'll do. Well... Poop. I kind of want to uh, maybe hang out with the scavengers and get them to help me, but that doesn't seem like something that's going to happen. The cave is down there, though. Got so many... Uh, oh, that's the curve game, I think, maybe? Oh, no, that's the cave. Oh, my lord. So many different places I need to go. But I think I'm actually going to wrap up the stream there. We've covered a fair bit of ground in the game so far, or at least it feels it. We're on turn 92. I know we can go much, much further. We haven't even got our own village yet. So far as I've seen on this land, that's probably the best location is there. Because it would allow us to get wood from three locations, iron, vegetables, and grain. And with grain and vegetables, we can make food. And we've also got fuel. So everything would be grand. There is coal, but that's right next to this territory. I don't think we can settle within two tiles of an enemy territory. That might even be too close there, but we could always move one down, perhaps one, two. No, it's, it still might be too close. It might be hard to find a place to settle on this island. We'll have to see. There's a lot of island still here to connect to via land bridge. But we'll have to find out how that one all goes. But uh, I really do hope you've all enjoyed. So sad to have lost two characters, but ah, I'm playing blind, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, so, for those who are interested, I will be posting these VODs up on YouTube as well. They'll be in slightly higher quality, probably audio balanced a little bit better. Uh, they'll be going up over the next several days, and then we'll return to this. I'll also be streaming more Tyranny in the next few days, as well as a new game that I'll be streaming on the 16th, and then probably the 17th, maybe the 18th and the 19th as well. We will see about that one. But uh, that's going to be it from me. So I'm going to jump over to the whole viral screen now. And uh, we will see if there's anyone left to raid. <laughs>